Hi, my name is Enrique Rangel. I'm with MyMedLeads.com. And today I'm going to do a quick video on how MyMedLeads integrates with Next Tech so that we can deliver uh, marketing leads right into the Next Tech system without having to enter them manually. Uh, once in their Next Tech, they can be scheduled. And after a lead gets scheduled, MyMedLeads will be notified so that the two systems are always in sync. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and start with uh, MyMedLeads. So I'm, I'm logged into a MyMedLeads account. And the first thing you see, of course, is our funnel. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to open up one of the leads that has come in. And you're going to see how these numbers get affected uh, as the lead moves down. So I click on New Leads. And I see the, the last lead that came in was uh, Kenny Lane. Uh, for Botox. So I'm going to click on Kenny and uh, if, if you're familiar with My Med Leads, there's a call now button that allows me to see the phone number. That way we know how long it took the lead to be called. So when I click call now, I now see the phone number. So let's say that I call Kenny and once I speak to Kenny and I, I feel that this is a legitimate inquiry that is ready to schedule, uh, it's as easy as just clicking the convert to next tech button. So I'm going to click on this button it asks me to confirm, I say yes. And now what I do is that if I open Next Tech, I'm going to be able to look up Kenny. So now that uh, I have Kenny on my screen, uh, and again, we didn't type this in, it just appeared automatically, uh, I can schedule Kenny. So I'm gonna schedule for seven o'clock tonight and the appointment will be a new console for Botox. So once I exit, if I come back to my mid leads, if I refresh the page, I can see that it is now a scheduled console. So if I go back to my funnel, I can see that my scheduled consultation but uh, number that was at 14 is now at 15. So this patient has been scheduled and I didn't have to do anything inside of my med leads. So now I'm going to go back to Next Tech and I'm going to open uh, the file for Kenny. Now I'm going to check them in. So Kenny gets checked in. Again, I exit. And if I go back to the funnel, I see that the schedule console just goes down by one and the console completed goes up by one. Uh, I have now shown how a lead can travel down the MyMed Leads funnel without it being touched. So once the leads are on console completed, this is the only time where a client would have to come back into MyMed Leads. And we remind you of that once a week and uh, mark any of the leads uh, as procedure completed. So if I click on console completed, I can see any of the uh, appointments that have already passed and the ones that haven't been completed yet. And uh, I can uh, very easily just change the console to pro procedure completed, select a date, and put in a dollar value so that we can track the return on investment. Notice that these leads don't have uh, these buttons. That's just because uh, they're still in the future, so uh, it's not asking us to put in any, uh, any numbers yet. So if I click Save and Continue, and I go back to Home, uh, I can see that the lead now is no longer on console completed. It has moved down to procedure completed where I track all my revenue. So uh, that's pretty much uh, the process of uh, generating a lead that comes into my med leads and pushing it uh, to Next Tech. Now, if we would have done it the other way, if I would have gone to Next Tech first and scheduled uh, a, a new patient that doesn't exist in my med leads, it would have done the same thing. It would have sent the information over to my med leads my med leads would have created this new patient and uh, then the two systems would be synced uh, just the same so uh, that is it for this video if you would like to see more videos on uh, how my med leads works please visit mymedleads.com forward slash training